everybody. So I'm going back to Fix It Felix and the topic of what inspired Fix It Felix. So I did a, a kind of like an anthology video where I talked about it was Fix It Felix originally like Chicken or the Egg, the game that instilled the theme or the thematic uh, elements that you found in Super Mario or was Super Mario the game that inspired Fix It Felix? Well, clearly it's Super Mario inspiring Fix It Felix because Fix It Felix was a fictional game that was created in 2012 and created quite well to the point where it looked like a actual retro game that it could have existed in 1982. And uh, Mario was something that was actually a game that existed in the 80s and inspired Fix It Felix. Now, somebody mentioned in the video that I posted in the comments that they thought, well, it's not just Mario. So I had Mario Classic, and then I had a ROM hack that was based on Super Mario 3 kind of mixed with Super Mario World just to show that flavor of both multiple games without having to show a bunch of games at the same time. Um, but they said, well, what about Rampage? Wreck-It Ralph totally reminds me of Rampage. And it does. So Rampage, you go around smashing buildings and taking down um, apparatus in a city and multiple cities as various beasts and you're definitely the antagonizing force and you have control over smashing these buildings whereas in Wreck-It Ralph you're the good guy you're Fix-It Felix Jr. and you've got your magic hammer and you're fixing the building that Ralph is actually on top of smashing so there's only one building involved and you're um, fixing um, and Ralph is the element of chaos whereas in Rampage you are the chaos smashing the whole city um, but it's kind of the same premise. And then you have Wrecking Crew. So Underwater Levels mentioned Wrecking Crew, and I couldn't um, put that aside because Wrecking Crew is actually a very um, easy game to grasp with that theme. So essentially it's a Mario character or a mario light character, uh, probably pulled directly or ported from Donkey Kong. And, oh, Donkey Kong's kind of another one too, where you go around smashing, um, uh, demolishing uh, what looks like a new superstructure build, but then they're smashing things, so it's kind of counterintuitive. But that definitely has an element that you'd see in Fix It Felix. And then, you know, I'd be kind of interested to see what everybody thought about other games that would influence this game as well. But what the thing that's cool about um, Wreck It Ralph is the fact that multiple. Um, elements were kind of pushed into the creation of this and they actually have somebody mentioned on my comics that comments that uh, Disneyland in the arcade and I'm assuming the one out in California actually has a uh, fix it Felix cabinet a custom cabinet in the, the arcade and so I going to Disney World recently I didn't see one um, in the arcade but I also didn't step foot in there so next time I go I kind of want to look so maybe I should um, send a note to Rock and Cat Reviews since he lives down in Florida to see if there is one in Disney World and if there's a uh, Fix-It Felix cabinet down there. But anyway, there's a lot of different influences in there. Um, and I also had to mention that um, I got a comment that, how did, why did you like uh, Wreck-It Ralph 2? Um, you know, Ralph breaks the internet when uh, um, that movie wasn't very good. I agree it wasn't that great. Um, and actually a good friend told me that, so it's all in jest. But... Uh, the first movie was by far superior, but I, I just like the franchise so much um, that I, anything they produce, I'm going to watch. It's so it's so amazing, uh, the idea of just kind of, um, you know, it takes that Toy Story premise and it pushes it into the video game world where you've got um, these programmed elements and sprites. What if they were real? And I thought that was just a really cool idea. Uh, so I revisited that movie several times. Oh, and by the way... The Attic Dwellers, Tig and Eric. Tig has not seen Wreck-It Ralph, so I openly challenge thee to watch that in your movie review segment. So anyway, thanks for watching. Feel free to hit that notification bell and feel free to share, like, and subscribe and take care.